Hey, everybody. I am so excited today. We have Tish Times with us. She is with Tish, Tish Times Sales Agency. And not only are you a NABO member, but Tish is on the NABO board. She oversees our DEIB efforts and enjoyment and fun. So welcome. And I'm excited to have you here. I am excited to be here. I was like, I was looking forward to it. I was just kind of coming at the bit. So thanks for having me. You're welcome. So exciting. Um, tell me a little bit about exactly, is it a marketing agency, advertising? And is that typically the same thing? Nope, it's actually totally different. And we're a sales agency. So <laughs> although, yeah, all the marketing kind of sneaks in a little bit, all of those things kind of overlap. Um, as a sales agency, we focus on helping companies to increase their revenue through sales. Um, typically, people who don't have their own sales team, or maybe they're just really busy and they have not found or made the time to pick up the phone themselves, they're the ones that call us and we're the outsourced sales team. So we act on behalf of other companies doing their sales. Now, when I think sales, I think you probably need a product. But is, is that true? No, actually, we have more, probably 98% of our clients are service-based companies. So we have attorneys who maybe have some type of a membership program that they sell that we, you know, we help. We have companies that do sales training, not sales training, they do like leadership training that we help them sell their products. We have um, all types of services. Insurance companies sometimes utilize us. It just depends, but we normally sell services. Got you. Well, see, I just learned something a little different. Yes. Too. <laughs> so if somebody wants to get started in something like that, are you like one of the first stops that somebody should do? Or should somebody look into marketing first? Like where, where do we go with you in, in that business realm? And let's just say we had a limited budget. Yeah. Where do we choose? So in all honesty, most people who come to us, have some marketing in place. They have some, um, whether it's some branding, um, some paraphernalia that they're handing out to clients on their own. However, lots of times people come to us and they don't. So we have partners in place. So if they come to us and their social media isn't that great or it's non-existent, they don't have any types of, you know, email marketing set up or they don't have any even, even mailers, you know, those types of things. We have people on our team that we can kind of sub that in from that workout too. So we can help them with their social. We can help them with some of their other marketing. It's not our prime, you know, focus, yeah. but we know how necessary it is. So we've created some partnerships with other organizations to do that. Okay. So that by the time we're selling for them, they have all of those things in place. Yeah. So then you can be that first stop. Yeah, we really can. Um, okay. It just takes us a little bit longer to get started because <laughs> so the first thing when someone calls you, Susie, and they say, hey, I'd like to talk to you about da, 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 da. What's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to go look up them on LinkedIn or you're going to go check their website. And if it's not that great, you're going to say, nah, no, thanks. Whereas <laughs> we help them to make sure that they have really good visual branding. So okay. when we're making those calls for them, they look good when people start looking them up. Yeah, you know, that's true, because if I see something or I hear of somebody and I'm like, oh, I want to check out that product or that person and I go look at social and it's like a uh -huh. year old. Yeah. <laughs> like, Are they still in business? Like, what exactly. the heck is going on? So yeah. you're right. I think all of that does matter a little bit. Website, is it really outdated? When's the last time they made some uh, changes? Things like that. So, yeah, that all matters. Yeah, it definitely does. Now, I was reading in your bio, you've been in this 15 years. Does that mean you've been in this industry 15 years or you've had your company 15 years? Yeah, so I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years, but I started yeah. out in the staffing world. I left the staffing world and went directly into career coaching. Um, okay. That was my first business. And so I've been in business for 15 years. My company's taken a couple of pivots and we've been doing sales specific type of work probably the last eight years. Okay. That's very exciting. Yeah. What's, what's your, um, I don't want to say favorite because we never want to pick a favorite client, but what is your, what makes you most excited to like work with? So I, I actually do, we have, and it's, it's actually a case study that we've done on one of our clients. That's actually, it goes out in our proposal and everything because the model that they had made it so easy for us to do work for them. So I love when a company comes to us and let's just say, for instance, they're a training company or a coaching company and they already have a pretty good following. 
They have yeah. people who want to do business with them, but they're just not connecting with them well. They come to us with like a Facebook group with like, you know, a thousand people, or they come to us with this list of, you know, 2000 people that they just have not done a good job following up with. Okay. That makes our life super easy because we have systems we can put in place for them. Okay. So we can actually help to create some, put some, some legs, if you will, on what they currently have and just don't know what to do with it. Um, so I won't say there's a specific industry, but when someone kind of has a lot of the components, but they just don't know how to make it work, we love that. But again, when people come to us and they don't have a list at all, we do a lot of lead generation for them too. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In itself. Exactly. A lot of people, you know, first we said they have to come to us with a list. They have to have, have you know, followers. Well, initially you did? Initially we did, but we right. found more and more people well, even when they came to us with the list, the list was so old and outdated or they would have emails, but not phone numbers. So we literally had to create an entire um, part of our process that involved a lot of list generation, lead generation, um, list building. So we use LinkedIn, but we have a lot of other things that we also use to help them build their list so we can do the sales for them. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, that was fun. What would you say is the most, hmm interesting product you guys have done god that's good we i think everything we do is, is quite interesting um i think probably we've had oh yeah you know what we had a company that all they did was they sold rfp services so it was very you know it was challenging in that you have to find companies that all they do is look for contracts and, um, you know, they're into the bidding process and all of that. So it wasn't like we can cast this wide net like we're normally able to do. We had to get really specific. And it took us some time to really learn that environment or help my team learn that environment really well. So that's probably the most challenging slash interesting client that we've had so far. But I think because having been in the staffing world for so long, I've been in so many industries. I've tapped into so many different ones. There's not much that surprises me at this point. Okay. Well, that's exciting. So if I shift a tiny bit into like Nabo and I, it's funny because I was looking at our, I'm trying to still capture our old Instagram back. It's, I can't get it, but I was looking at it because, because it says on the thing, when you try to get it, it's like, oh, if you have pictures of you on here, send us a video. So I'm looking, I'm like, Tish, Tish. I'm like, oh, Tish might need to do this video for me. <laughs> you've been around a while I know. have I have okay. yeah and I, I would say I was actually a member of NABO many years ago in another state and then that that chapter didn't you know didn't take off as well it was in New Mexico I lived in Texas but I was on the border close to New Mexico oh, okay. that New Mexico chapter for a short period of time I just had a little Something happened over here <laughs> I love her so much she's getting all excited <laughs> I know um but then when I moved to Phoenix, it's been nine years. So I've been here in Phoenix, a part of NABO for the entire time I've been here in Phoenix. So okay. yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> wow, that's fun. How long have you been working the DEIB uh, panel? The last, and yeah, I think for the last two, two and a half years or so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. It's, you know, it's funny. I'm like, has it been three? It's, it feels like it's been like forever. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long, but somewhere between two and four years. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. yeah. If you guys haven't had a chance to like get with Tish and even just chat with her. Your energy is always so magnetic. It, it always is. I mean, you're almost like this happy. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like this happiness that walked in a room. I don't want to say sunshine, but it could be, but it's just like, happy's here. <laughs> and I love that. Thank and you. I love um, having those conversations around DEIB. And um, just so you guys know, September 6th, Tish is going to head up our luncheon all around that. So that's her baby to run. I don't know what's coming, but it's going to be fun for sure. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that actually quite yeah. a bit. I'm super excited. I mean, I love your business model and, and such. And as soon as my box is ready to launch, I, I thought of you. That's why I wanted a little more clarity for myself too. So that was kind of like me selfishly. Yeah. Digging. <laughs> I'm here for it. Totally. <laughs> my product might be one of those where you're like, so I remember that one. <laughs> Well, you know, Susie, what's really funny is when I was still doing staffing, 
Um, you know, I had a client that we were supposed to, me and my, I think he was the VP at the time, we were going to go visit this new client that had reached out and the, the team who took calls kind of got us signed up, but I was the account manager, so I had to go visit. Okay. And I had no idea because it sounded like they did one thing. When we got there and we were walking the warehouse, it turned out it was an adult <laughs> entertainment. And I was like, oh God, what am I doing? <laughs> I was like, um... Not really sure how to get that out there. <laughs> and so we're pastors. So I was like, I need to get out of here. This is not going to go well. <laughs> but what did you do? You know, we we got to the call, but when we got to the car, we laughed so hard. We were like, what on earth just happened here? I mean, we ended up doing business with them because it wasn't my company. It was the company I worked for at the time. Yeah. Um, the people who were serving the, you know, placing the orders, they took care of them. But it was just so funny because we totally thought they were like, a party, you know, like literally regular party kind of planning yeah. kind of company. They were a party company, all right. This is not the kind of party we were thinking. <laughs> You're like, it's a party, but not one I'm going to go to. Not the kind of party I normally you shouldn't call for. them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I know. I, yeah, there are some like kind of deceptive. That's why I always tell my husband, I'm like, oh, I'm not Googling that. Not yeah, good. right. Oh, God. Yeah, mm. I have other stories for that. I won't even go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some things that just sound like, oh, something oh, like, a, like a Kool-Aid drink. And you're like, cool. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not what I thought. <laughs> I tell my kids, you click on nothing weird and you right. don't Google things. You don't know exactly what you're exactly. Googling. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen. Yeah. Oh, man. So fun. Well, I'm excited. We got to have this chat. That was super fun. Is there Likewise. anything you have going on, any events, workshops, oh, anything God. you're doing that you want to invite our members? I do. Or members? I do. So depending on when people see this, you know, depends on whether or not it will be applicable for this one. But I'm going to put it on, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. So, no, so I have an event happening next week <laughs> on oh. the 30th and 31st of March. It okay. is our, we call it the Profit Mastery Premium Sales Intensive. And it is a working event. You know, sometimes times you go to a conference and you get to sit and listen to the speaker the whole day. This is not that. This is a bring your computer. We're going to help you set up your CRM correctly. We're going to help you to set up your sales process, help you to get your follow-ups established, create some automations. If you don't have a CRM, we'll get you one. I mean, it's it's literally designed to help you those people who may not be, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> the people who may not be ready to hire us yet. We're going to give them all the tools that they need to get their sales process going and, and really bringing in new leads for them. That's what that event is. But if you see this, this session that we're doing right now, after that, just stay tuned because we do it quarterly. And so okay. if you miss this one, you can catch the next one, which will be in June. So this one is the 30th and 31st. Right, right. But if you go to tishtimes.com, Click on sales intensive. No matter what time of year, you'll always see the next upcoming session that we're doing. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will put an elbow plug out on our social for that. Thank you. Thank I'll you put so that much. out today because that's valuable for our yeah. members to have. I love these conversations I get to have with you guys because I learn things like that. And I'm like, oh my God, that's super valuable for our members. I'll put it out today. Yay, um, perfect. Because we don't typically get to know that and know a lot of things. And what I'm learning also is that some businesses are just so fascinating what people do right. yeah. and how they even got to doing what they do to me is even more interesting. For sure. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah I'm, glad. I'm learning a lot watching them. I think they're really interesting and That's really fun. cool. So thank you for doing these. It's really great. Um, I think as members to be able to say, hey, we can get this additional visibility that we probably, you know, wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. And again, I mean, it opens up things to members where they're like, I didn't know that I could right. use that. Right. So I do love it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for being here. And thank I will um, put all the stuff in the, what is it called? The wording down below. <laughs> <laughs> click below. Yeah. Click below. The comment section. <laughs> Sign up and visit Tish at her sales agency and see what it's all about. And again, September 6th, come and see what she has to offer and all the stuff she's teaching and learning uh, um, and helping all of us through NABO with the DEIB and small businesses, right? You focus on a lot of that and just, there's a lot to learn there too, right? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank you. you. Likewise. Thank you.